Hello everyone and welcome to my new course. I'm so excited to introduce you to an amazing project that we'll be working on together. And this is called Brain Blogify Application. In this course, we will dive into the world of full stack web development using the main stack, which stands for MongoDB, Express, React and Node.js. We will create a powerful and interactive blogging platform from scratch, covering all the essential aspects of building a modern web application. Before joining me in this course, let's look at the features if this course is the right course for you. The first feature is authentication whereby a user can register logging in and logging out and we will implement password reset forgot password private profile public profile following user unfollowing user account verification profile image upload cover image upload user blocking and unblocking update profile post crawl whereby a user can create read, update, and delete, and associating a post to a category, searching of posts by the post name, post views, post likes and dislikes, post claps, meaning to read a post, days ago a post was created, post comment, deployment, filter post by category, public post, private post, pagination, and so much more. Now that we've seen all the features, let's look at them in live demo. And this is the final project that we are going to build. Let's look at the layout first. Over here, we have the navbar. And this navbar is going to be private and public. If you are not logged in, you are going to see this navbar. But if I log in, I'm going to see some links that are pertaining to the login user. And I can register from this page. And down here, we have only four posts. Even though we have more than four posts. But why is it so? Based on the implementation for this application, if you are not logged in, you'll be seeing only four posts. And for this, if I try to read more posts here, it will ask me to log in. And likewise, if I try to add new posts, it will ask me to log in. So I'm going to log in with this user. And we log in using username and password, but not with email. So I'll click on log in. And you saw the spinning, and automatically it has been redirected me to my profile page. And over here, we have the cover image and then the profile of the user. And I can go ahead and change the cover image, likewise the profile image. And as you can see this warning, which says that you need to verify your account and number of views for this particular profile and number of followers. And down here, we are displaying the post that the login user has created. And the user can schedule a post. So we come back to that one very soon, but let's see the layout first. As you can see, we have the followers here. And the total post here is five. But on the home page, if we log out, we are going to see only four. Let's go ahead to register a new user and I'll call this one as Ben and the email as that and password as that. As you can see, this username is being taken. Therefore, I'm going to change the name to mother and the email as that and the password. Now, I need to log in. So I'm going to log in using the username as mother and log in. And automatically, it has been redirected me to my profile. As you can see, I have zero posts and zero followers. 
Next is, let's go ahead to change the cover image by clicking on this icon. And I will select any image of my choice. Let's say this one and upload. Good. Now let me check it out. And the image has been updated. Likewise, the profile image, I can change that. And I'm going to select this image and upload. Good. Now let me check it out. And I have the image being updated. For the navbar image here, unless I look out and look in as the mother and let's see, and it has been updated. Next is, let's go ahead and add new post. For this, I will say Node.js title. And then I'm going to select any image here in the category as Node.js and I will provide some content here. And action denied unless I verify my account. So I'll go to my dashboard and click on verify your account. An email has been sent to my email. So I'll go ahead and check that. As you can see, we have account verification. I'll click on that and it says that you are receiving this email because you have requested to verify your account. Please click the link or paste into your browser and I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, account verified. So I can go ahead, log out, log in again. And let's have a look. And now I don't see the warning anymore. I can go ahead and add new post and I will say Node.js Advanced. And I'm going to select any image and the category as Node and provide some dummy text here and post. And good job. Now I can create a post. If I go to the home page, at the home page, we are implementing pagination. So over here, we are displaying four posts at a time. If I go to next, I see the post I just created. If I go to the dashboard, I'm going to see one post. Do you get it? Yes. So I can go ahead and schedule this post. Now I'm going to select future date and schedule. Good job. Now, if I go to home page and post here, now, if I go to next, as you can see, that post is nowhere to be found. And if I click on read more, we have the statistics about this post. Number of views, likes, claps, number of comments, how many minutes need to read this post and time ago this post was created. If I click on like, now I have been added to the likes. If I click on dislike, now I have moved from likes to dislikes. And I can add a comment to this post as great and submit. Now let's see, mother have added a comment to this post. And also for this post, I cannot delete because this post does not belong to me. And over here, if I want to reset my password, I'll sign out here and I'll click on reset password. Then I'll provide email address, something like this. It says that there is no email in our system. Therefore, I need to provide valid email address. Let's check it out. If I add and send, as you can see, password reset email sent. If I check my email, I'm going to see password reset and I'll go ahead and click on that and I can enter my new password and let me enter the new password as that and password has been resetted. Great. So let me go ahead and log in with that and let's see. Good. I have been logged in. Next is I want to follow or block a user. So I'll go to the post list page here 
and I want to locate a different user, in this case, John. Remember, I have logged in as a mother. So if I click on the profile of this user, now I can see this user's post. And I can go ahead and block or follow. If I click on follow, as you can see, I can unfollow. If I click on block, now I can unblock. The purpose for the blocking is that if I block this user, this user will not be able to see my post. Now, I'm going to add a new post and I'm going to publish it immediately. I will say CSS and select any image here and add CSS and some content here. Now, the post has been added. If I go to the page here, I see this post. Remember, I have blocked John. So if John logs in and go to post, my post will not be visible to John and it is gone. Did you see that? Yes. And also I can go ahead and filter post by category. So if I go here and I click on Node.js, there is no post associated to Node.js because I have scheduled that. But if I click on web design or this one or that, I have the post. And if I search for a post title, I want to search for CSS Flexbox. And I'll type in CSS. And as you can see, we have this one. Good. So guys, this is what we are going to build. And one more thing I forgot to show you is that we can also update our username and the email. So if I want to change my name to something like mom2 and the email as do2. Now update. Perfect. If I go to my profile and as you can see, the username and the email have been changed. All right. If you're interested, catch you up or see you in the class.